we're going to go over how to fill syringes for neuro IR cases. This may seem like a very simple concept, however, it is a little bit nuanced, and we're going to discuss that here in this video. The base principle here when you're drawing up anything in neuro IR is that you don't want to introduce any air. Any air that is introduced, you want to get out, and you always want to leave room for uh, for you to pull back on the syringe to remove air from a second system that you're working with. So I'll show you exactly how that works. Number one, if you're pulling up, this is just saline in a cup, but it can be if you're pulling saline from a line or from a waste management system, the, prin the principle is the same. You're going to get your syringe into place, you're going to draw back, you're going to keep the back of the plunger facing the ceiling, so any air from the system will collect on the tip of the plunger all in one place. So we're going to pull back, always keeping the syringe pointing up. And then we're not going to pull back all the way to 10 cc's, the maximum. We're always going to leave room, and I'll show you here why. But then we're going to tilt. We see we have some air around the plunger right there. So we're going to now face it all the way up and tap to get the bubble to the top and we'll push the air out. And then in the end, we want our syringe to be filled to about eight cc's, so we leave room for us to aspirate in the future. So then when we tap all the bubbles out, there's just another one here that we will get. There we go, we'll get that bubble out too. Now when we hook this up to another line, what we can do is we'll now again face the back of the syringe up, as we pull back, I'll just show you, I'll tilt it for a bit, we pull the air out of the system, and then we can inject. Again, in, in when you're injecting, now that you've pulled air back from the system, you want your syringe up, so all the air stays at the top there, and you don't inject it. But now we can inject without introducing air, and we're good to go. So that's the base principle here. Anytime you're drawing up saline or anything else, you don't want to introduce air. You want to have a system for getting any air out that collects in the syringe. And you always want to leave room to pull back so that when you work to a second system where you're going to inject it into, you can pull back any dead air that is in that system.